guys, welcome to Silver Lake. It is mid-February. Uh, we had a snowstorm uh, yesterday. It's uh, up to like six inches of snow. Uh, this is very unusual. Usually we have uh, snow in December. This is the first time, uh, first snow uh, this season. It is very cold, like seven degrees Fahrenheit here in uh, Waterloo, Iowa. For those of you that follow our channel, you know that we run one entrance on our beehives, so we don't have upper entrances. So whenever we have snow, we have to come and uh, clean the bottom board, uh, clear uh, any um, dead bees that are accumulated on the bottom board. We don't we don't have upper entrance just uh just one opening and it's kind of enclosed system so the way i clean my hives is uh, <clears throat> i have uh this uh, small brush kind of like a bottle cleaner i just uh, remove the mouse card and just scoop the, the bees out from the bottom board okay i just kind of come in uh with this brush So, there's some debris but there's just a little bit so these it's been a uh, really warm and bees have been taking care of the bottom boards so there's no a uh, lot of dead bees and stuff so they've been cleaning themselves so that's kind of what I do when I have snow uh, when we have a snowstorm, yeah, I think colonies that have this uh, shim and a frame of honey on top of them are gonna have some cappings. Yeah, they're very clean this year. They haven't been closed for a long time. Man, I hear a lot of bad uh, horror stories about bees dying everywhere here in the States. Kind of like they're reporting the numbers, kind of like the when CCD just started. Uh, and there's some, might be uh, new viruses or some other problems. I'm not sure. I mean, I think the commercial bee industry is in, in pro. Uh, a lot of problems I think that uh, needs to be investigated uh, what's what are the reasons why the bees are dying in this uh, they're saying like from 50 to 70 percent of uh, their bees are gone so that's huge and uh, I'm sure that it's gonna affect all of us uh, the bee culture magazine they did a survey of with uh, California commercial beekeepers and out of the information gathered from 234 beekeepers uh, they found average losses over 50 percent with combined financial loss over 139 million 
So if that, uh, if you combine all those losses with the other losses uh, throughout the year, so the additional lot losses puts many beekeepers at a loss at the rates 70 to 100 percent. So many beekeepers lost everything over the past 12, 12 months. So what they're seeing is the symptoms of uh, is uh, uh, similar to colony collapse disorder CCD conditions, which occurred in 2007 and 8 when bees uh, suddenly disappeared from their colonies. So during the recent inspections uh, by the scientists, so the seized colonies often uh, died with a lot of uh, honey stores, leaving small patches of brood with most or all the adult bees gone. So hopefully this uh, snowstorm is going to be over soon because we're like the mid-February and in probably in a couple of weeks, I think, uh, this cold will be over and we're going to start seeing nicer weather and bees flying. So let's check out uh, why bees, some of the reasons why our bees are dying during the winter, especially uh, uh, in, in cold, cold climate. Uh, I think most of the time, more than 90% is because of the beekeeper's fault, beekeeper's error, like not leaving enough food or not training for mites or creating environment that's not good for bees like moisture. Number one reason I think that bees die is because of the mites, not training for mites. Okay, let's pause it here a little bit, guys. So I can't stress enough how important it is uh, to take care of the mite problems in your uh, beehives, especially for the beginners. I'm not a treatment-free beekeeper and I don't suggest any of the new beekeepers to get into treatment-free uh, beekeeping before they know what they're doing and before it's a long process and definitely you're gonna lose a lot of hives if you go treatment-free. So in our area uh, we start with uh, treating for mites in the beginning of August and before, uh, the reason for that is uh, we want to do finish the first round of treatments before the winter bees are born. We don't want to treat our winter bees. That can be a little different uh, for your area, depending how you know far north or south you live. We live uh, in Midwest in Iowa, and our first week of August is when we start uh, with the treatments. Uh, Varroa mites feed off the uh, the fat of the winter bees, and by doing so, they can transmit uh, different diseases and viruses um, to your colony and kill your bees over the winter. Another uh, great time to treat your bees is the last treatment of the year doing oxalic acid in our area is in the beginning first week of December or last week November because the mites they don't have nowhere to hide they're going to be exposed to your treatments there's no brood that where they can hide uh, and escape your treatment the second really important thing is starvation starvation is another uh, common reason why bees die during the winter. It usually happens uh, last days of the winter or early, early spring. So bees die because they don't have enough food uh, reserves stored or too much is taken away from them. Or if they have enough food but it's not properly placed above their clusters. One way to check uh, if they have enough food is to lift back of your beehive and uh, check the, the weight is it heavy or light and prevent uh, starvation you can use a backup feeding uh, methods uh, that include uh, use of like fondant uh, mountain camp mountain camp uh, sugar method or winter uh, candy boards
So another really important thing, like I said, is, is moisture. Uh, especially when the brood starts, uh, bees have excess moisture and that moisture kind of needs to either vent out or absorbed. So uh, what I do is I provide extra uh, insulation on top of the hives so there's no condensation that drips on the bees. As you can see, I don't wrap my hives. My bees are survivors, you know, they, I only I, uh, insulate the top so that way there's no moisture dripping on them. Another reason why bees die is uh, not good stock for the area you live in. Some a lot of people they say that it doesn't matter where you get your bees from, or uh, if the your package or your nukes come from the southern state, and here they will adapt. I don't think that's true. I think the survival the survival stock. Bees that survive these harsh winters are gonna do a lot better for you than bees that come from the southern states. That's just my belief. If you can't get our winter stock, winter hardy bees at least get the, uh, requeen them with the, with the good queens that are uh, winter hardy and that they can survive this brutal winter. So, it's not the same so another reason why bees die is these uh, temperature fluctuations if we have really cold nights and then we have warm day so they fly a little bit and then it it get you know gets cold again so it can they can break the cluster and it's called isolation starvation when they move on one side or another break the cluster so uh that's another reason. When we talk about the food placement and the cluster size, reason why bees die is not having enough bigger cluster. Having too small of the cluster like weak hives coming into winter. To have a large number of bees with big clusters going into If you don't have that, it will be wise to, uh, to combine the hives. Bees also need some kind of wind block from behind high winds can also kill your bees during the winter so they need something from you know from the back and then the clear path on the front uh, so another reason the bees die is not installing the mouse guards on the bees some kind of wire mesh or something to prevent mice going in. Sometimes I forget and mice move in and it's a disaster. So guys, there are many reasons why bees die. Some, sometimes it's our fault or most of the time is the fault of the beekeeper and sometimes do everything right, things happen and bees die. So to make sure like the most important ones like food, to leave them enough food and properly placed food above their heads, above the cluster, to treat for mites, to watch for the uh, to watch for the moisture, to have good young queens, to have good breeding stock, especially if you live in the cold climates, to have a stock that overwinters in your area, where, wherever you live. That'll be all for today. Thank you guys for watching. See you next time. Thank you.